common question people have is things do I need to know to pass the pharmacy technician exam. So in this video I'm going to list out the important things um, that need to be talked about or that you need to know in order to pass the pharmacy exam. This isn't going to be all of the things but these are going to be a lot of the main key points. If you can think of anything else that needs to be added go ahead and drop it below in the comments. We'll go ahead and subscribe to the channel now so if we have any new information or any new videos you'll be told about it. The first set of things is you need to know the parts of a prescription, the different parts. You need to know the measurements and the conversions of how to convert between grams, milligrams, those kind of things. And there's some pharmacy law that's important to know. So it's going to be important that you that you are aware of those. And then there's going to be the ratios and proportions and how to convert and how to figure those out. The second group is the percentages and concentrations. How to figure out the percentages, how to figure out the concentrations, the flow hoods, SIG codes, business math, general anatomy. And the third section is going to be allegations, dilutions, IV rates, milliequivalents, Young's rule, Clark's rule, and the body surface area. So if you go ahead and you subscribe to the channel, you can go ahead and see I have different videos that talk about these different things. Um, and if you can think of anything else, like I said, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I think it'd be good for me to mention the, the parts that are pertaining to math. Ratios and proportions, that's math. Percentage and concentrations is math. You have business math. And then the allegations, dilutions, IV rates, MEQ, Young's rule, Clark's rule, BSA. So all those are the math portions. Um, and like I said, I do have videos for those, so feel free to check them out. The link's below.